Reddit. Who are the worst co-workers that you've ever had to work with? Easily the bizarre love triangle that I had to deal with while working at Arby's in college. One of my managers, female, had just split with her husband. So she started banging one of the kitchen bitches, male. When that went sour, she started hooking up with one of the female employees. Ordinarily, this wouldn't be a problem. Except the male kitchen bitch clearly still harbored feelings. Which led to some nasty shouting matches during work hours. They'd try to pull the other employees into it and get us to take sides. I was all like. FCKU. I'm just trying to slice roast beef. Fake post no way do they have actual roast beef to slice at Arby's. Working as a cashier for a grocery store. Awesomely friendly boss was always quick with a joke and great with customers. She also counted the drawers and handled the front of the store. My drawl came up $20 short one day, never happened in the year I was working, and I got pushed in front of the store manger without any defense. I could pay it out of pocket or get wrote up. Couldn't afford the $20 so I took the write up. Broke high school kid that had to pay car insurance. Boss goes on later and starts talking about watching out for quick change artists. Yeah that must have been it. Fast forward 3 months, I quit because of a shtty raise, because of a demerit, and go work elsewhere. A few months later she's arrested and fired for stealing from the tills. To feed her lottery habit. TL. DR. Nice people in authority who FCK you over and let you take the fall. When I was 16. I worked at Wendy's. One day I went in to find out that I was training. I am working back window. And as I am training her. She starts filling me in on her situation. She was a recovering crack addict who had just been released from jail for theft. And was living in a halfway house. She was also 40 years old and kept hitting on me. Asking if I had ever had women. Telling me constantly how cute I was etc. I thought I'd have to get a new job. But two days later. Addiction won out and she ran out the door with a hundred bucks. The funny thing was that. Had it just been the money. She would have just been fired. Since she ran out with the work walkie talkie. She was charged with a felony. She just couldn't understand the four corner press method. I was a swing manager at McDonald's in high school. We had one employee. Johnny. Who just didn't want to do any work. He was in the kitchen so his duties were to cook. Prep. Clean and restock. His favorite thing to do was prep. Ask the man to make a Big Mac and you'd get the worst sandwich ever. Ask him to slice tomatoes and you'd get perfection. Anyways. One day we're really busy and I'm helping out in the basement with an inventory order. Johnny comes downstairs and his hand is sliced. Bad. Down to the bone. Bleeding everywhere. It looked like he put his hand in the tomato slicer and just smashed it onto his hand. Thing is. He was so calm. Looked pleased with himself. We sent him home thinking that was that. He strolled out. Said goodbye to his co-workers and we never saw or heard from him again. That night I'm sorting out all the tills to take the dailies to the safe drop at the bank. We're missing nearly five dollars. Zero 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 in cash from the manager's safe. Never happened before. Never happened again. Don't know how he did it. I used to work for a full body donation facility. Like. You donate your body to science. We would cut it up and send your different parts to researchers all over the world. In this facility we had lots of gurneys to transport the 7-8 bodies we received a day. We would also cut up the bodies on the gurneys. Which meant these things were disgusting. We cleaned them. But still. My co-workers and I began noticing that some of the gurneys weren't always in their rightful place when we opened shop in the morning. Immediately you think. Ghosts. Nope. Turns out two employees were always staying late and having SX on them. No shti. They didn't get fired for it. They did get fired though. When they forged letters to their welfare agent saying they got paid below X amount of dollars and still needed welfare. Which was a lie. They signed the bottoms of the letters. Each claiming to be the other's boss. 
the type who complain about not getting enough hours week after week but when you do schedule them the extra hours they call out. I share office space with a woman who's been working in our firm for 35 years now. Underneath her desk she has a banker's box half filled, at least 10 kilos, with colorful rocks. One day I asked her about the rocks. Oh. Every time somebody really pisses me off. They get a rock in my box. So I can remember it. You mean. All of those rocks represent somebody? She rummaged in the box for a second and pulled one out. This is for the time. Department secretary didn't invite me to her Christmas party. Even though I gave her a present. I picked one out at random. So. Who's this for? That's for, old boss. Retired circa 2003. That bitch. I told her not to hire that packy for accounting. And she got pregnant 6 months later. She should have listened to me. I stared. So. Do I have any rocks? She just glowered at me for a second. Then turned back to her newspaper. Ugh. There was this f-tard that used to bring in framed photos of various exotic wildlife and show them off to everyone in the break room. He would go into a long story about his trip to Africa or whatever country that particular animal of the week came from. The thing is. They were all taken from the internet and printed on photo paper. If he brought in a Siberian tiger photo. I would google Siberian tiger and bam. Oh look it's a pic from a brochure. For a Mexican zoo. I hated that guy. That sounds so incredibly sad. At a previous job. I used to eat lunch in the break room with a friendly. But very conservative woman. That didn't bother me at all. Though. I just made sure to avoid the standard hot topics. Until one day when. I don't remember how this came up. But she said. All the fags and s should be sent to Mars. I ate lunch at my desk after that. You should have responded. You know. That does sound like a pretty bomb party. We had a guy on the night shift that would come to work clock in and then drive away. Come back at the end of his shift and clock out. The manager was told about it a number of times but said I didn't see it. So I can't do anything about it. This guy was doing this for over a year. I asked what was up and the manager said. He has mama baby issues. I'm guessing he was related to the manager. Or he had some information on the manager that the manager wanted to keep quiet. Manager. Yes. I work in an engineering contracting firm. We mainly do electromechanical work from water related projects. We had this one electrical engineer who had a major issue with communication. I was his project engineer for one project and he would never ever ask me anything or give me any information unless I asked for it. He would never take on tasks unless I told him to do task X. Why? He never even communicated with the mechanical engineer. Although for our projects. There needs to be a lot of coordination. When we'd find out something went wrong on the electrical side. He'd blame us for not giving him information. Or he would blame us for not asking him to confirm beforehand. Further. Whenever I'd ask him for something over the phone. No matter how small. Like confirmation on an instrument tag number for example. He would request that I write him an official email with the question. Needless to say. We fked up on every project he's worked on. He was fired. I once worked with a guy who genuinely believed cats could reproduce with rabbits and would argue at length about it almost every day. The first time I told him it was impossible. He searched cabbits on google images and said see. Told you. Full stop. Maybe not the worst. But definitely the dumbest. Keep in mind. This guy was 32 years old. Dana. I can't stand Dana. Whenever you have any question. She looks at you like you're crazy for asking. She gives you one of those looks like. Seriously? You want me to do that? It doesn't matter that what you're asking for is her responsibility. You can't ask her to do anything without her giving you shti back. She doesn't copy people on emails so she'll go off and work on a team project with her different team while other people are doing the same thing. To top it all off. She's in marketing and unknowingly made our publicly owned company tagliner sx joke. 
I know there are worse people out there. But this makes everyone's day to day suck. Also. She laughs like one of the hyenas from the Lion King all day. What's the tagline? Oh god. David. I started working as a glass collector at this nightclub and he'd been doing the job for about 6 months before me. This made him think he was essentially my boss even though nobody had ever told him this. And despite the fact I was clearly better at the job than him. He'd do everything in such stupidly overcomplicated and slow ways. Wasting so much time and generally causing the place to almost grind to a halt. The worst part was the fact he seemed to have no concept of personal space though. IF King hate super touchy feely people. The ones who keep telling you to do things when they have no authority over you. FCK Uzak. Tough choice. Here are the nominees. The stinker. You get within 2 meters of this woman and your nostrils will be reminding you about it for the next 8 hours. The freak. Casually mentions how much he enjoys wearing his butt plug to work. The spitter. Would hock up a logy and spit it in his desk side bin. I sat directly opposite him and witnessed this show 20 goddamn times a day. The bus plunderer. Casually mentions how far he had his arm up another man's ass the previous night. This guy was mid 40s. 6 feet 6. Bald and 140 kgs. Nightmares were had. But the winner is. The bleeder. The bleeder was mid 60s and on blood thinning medication due to a heart attack a few years earlier. Unfortunately this resulted in the tiniest scratch or bump bleeding for hours. In a very unfortunate turn of events he decided to purchase white chinos. The results were not pretty and given the amount of times he handed me back blood smear documents. He takes the cake. Sounds like the freak and the butt plunderer should get together. The funniest thing I've ever read on reddit was on one of these threads maybe a year ago. Someone said a guy at his work would listen to monster mash loudly in their cubicle on a consistent basis. Not sure why but that's hilarious to me just picturing that. CP was discovered on my manager's laptop. We had always joked about him being pedo just because he looked the type and just acted off. That big frowsy Ann. My first job was at some small shtty grocery store barely getting enough business to stay open. Anne was best friends with our manager and spend hours of the shift sitting and talking about the raunchy sx she had with her husband and take frequent smoke breaks in between. She would continuously use her 5 finger discount and steal anything she could get away with. One night while her and I were forced to face the store, pull every item up on the shelves to look all purdy, she said she was going to run to the beer store. Seeing that it was literally 10 steps away I said fine. 3 hours later after I'm all finished and 20 minutes away from closing she comes back half drunk. Anyways a couple months later she got caught going into the computer system changing the prices of meat so she could save money on steaks that were already on sale. TL. I worked at a concrete company when I was 17 for a summer job. It was really hard work especially when you're the new young buck they shovel the shtty jobs on you and see what it'll take to make you quit. Anyway about 4 weeks into the job the owner of the company has Albus son who is my age come in to work for him. He got all of the easier jobs and whenever I was with him he would go out to the truck and take 10 minuet long water breaks. Then he would come back and pretend to do work but as soon as the foreman looked away he would slow his pace down or stop completely. And since he was usually working with me it became MR. Miss IAGI hurry your ass up or GTFO. I mean I get that it's the boss's son but goddamn don't mistake his laziness for my incompetence. I would strip whole rooms and this kid would just sit there breaking ties and I'm still pissed off about it. Edit. I honestly didn't think this comment would get this far it still finds ways of surprising me. One of my bosses. We worked in home with autistic kids and every week we would have team meetings to discuss what we should do next with the kids. During this 2 hours we would talk about her. Her weekend. Her boyfriend. Her friends. Her car. Her house. The great deals that she found. And then finally the last 5 minutes or so we would get to the kids. I would tell her repeatedly and flat out that she needed to develop more programs for the kids because they were advancing very fast. 
I worked there for 3 years and she never once put in a new program. She told me to think of something to do. She was being paid $45 an hour. Had a master's degree. And was second in command. TL. Doctor my boss got paid $45 an hour to do nothing. And told me to do her job. These Moldavian guys who were married with kids that used to always flirt rub up on me in work. It was awful. The woman who sat next to me and clicked her F king pen all goddamn day long. Click click. Click. Click click click. Asterisk. It wasn't even rhythmic. Just a random cacophony of clicks. Enough to make a man lose his F king mind and daydream of taking that pen and stabbing her through the neck with it. She was the worst. I had been covering a co-worker's responsibility on a project for about a month because he didn't have time to learn the task up until that point. I finally pressure him to schedule some time to learn it with me and he says. Well why can't you keep doing it? I work at a well respected homewares and decorating type store in Sydney. The store manager is a complete nightmare to work with. She has an erratic personality and frankly. She's a bitch. She drinks on the job. Sometimes starting at 8. 45 am. The worst part? She steals money from the till and expects us to sign it off for her for the reports at the end of the day. She's fked. Do you realize that by signing off on the reports you are technically conspiring with her in defrauding the company? You ought to report this immediately. Even if they fire you. Your job is not worth the charge. Lawsuit. And prison time. Anyone who says it's not my problem may not be the worst, but I hate co-workers who possess no sense of humor. How can you be so boringly serious all the time? I'd agree. But I'd also say the guy who thinks he has a great sense of humor. Making everything a joke is just as annoying. We're getting paid to get shit done. Not goof around like we're best buddies at some comedy club. Teachers. Specifically elementary school. Both male and female. It's like reliving high school all over again. The bitching is unbelievable. Who came in here to see if there were any stories about you? Anyone who brings their problems to work. We've all got bullshit going on. Why the FCK are you gonna spread that around at work where most people don't want to be anyway? FCK.